Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am so excited. Um, I'm going to be reviewing my very first Jeffree Star palette. Now the only thing I have ever reviewed from him uh, was the mystery boxes and I will have a link right here if you have not watched that yet. But this is my very very first eyeshadow palette and I am just so excited. I have done so many different things with this palette so I could get a really good idea and give you guys a very thorough review. So before we get started, if you guys are not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that button down below. I normally post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I'll have those all linked down below as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right in. So the box itself that it comes in, this is what it looks like right here. I was actually very overwhelmed of the quality of the box. I mean, I know that's kind of weird to say because it's just a box. It's like not really a big deal, but it is. It feels so luxurious on its own. It's just, you already know what's inside is going to be super high quality. And I really, really like that. This is definitely one of the best and most high quality outer packaging that I have seen to date. Um, this raises right here. I really don't want to get rid of this box. It feels so good. I really want to turn it into something. Um, even the cute little design here. And then on the back, of course, you have a list of all the ingredients. Now, Jeffree Star Cosmetics is cruelty free and it is also vegan. So it contains no carmine whatsoever. And I love that about his brand. I wish more brands would go vegan. Um, but it's a good step in the right direction. Once you open it up, this is what is inside. It's the Blue Blood palette. Um, now the quality of this case, oh my gosh, I am just, I am so taken back and like in awe. Like I knew it was going to be fancy. I, I guess that's the, that's the word to say it. Um, but this feels so luxurious. Like I really feel with just the boxing alone, I get my money's worth. <laughs> Isn't that crazy to say? Um, so it's not too heavy and it's not too light. I can actually do my makeup um, with this open with this mirror. That is not a problem. I, I thought I was a little nervous because I'm like, okay, it's going to be, you know, big. It's going to be bulky. It's going to be heavy. There's no way I'm going to be able to hold it and do my makeup. But I was really wrong. He actually proved me very wrong. I was able to hold this without you know, hurting my wrist and I was able to do my makeup in the mirror, which I really, really appreciate about that. So all the little detail on here, I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure you've seen this a million times, but we're going to go ahead and go through it anyway. So of course you have uh, blue blood on the palette right here with his Jeffree Star logo. All the detail around it is just gorgeous. Oh my gosh. The case itself feels so good. Um, even this lock on here, like, it's not loose, it's not crooked, it is just well put together. Now on the back it does say right here that it is cruelty free, it's good for 12 months. Uh, you have the Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo and of course his YouTube and Instagram on the back as well. Now the ingredients are not listed on the back of the box. You will have to keep the outer packaging if you want to know the ingredients for each shade. However, on the Beautylish website, it does list the ingredients as well. So either one uh, will be fine. Now you open it up and oh my gosh, it just gets better and better. <laughs> um, so it at this is of course what the palette looks like. You guys have seen this probably a million times already. As you can see, I've been playing with the shades. They are pretty dug into, um, and I definitely have some thoughts about that, but we'll get into that soon. And it has a really nice size mirror in here. Um, like I said, I can do my whole entire makeup with this mirror, and I really, really appreciate that. Um, and of course the detailing, I don't really wanna show you too much because of the, uh, yeah, okay. So the detailing right here, it just goes on and on. The detail of this palette is absolutely amazing. And of course you do have the shade names underneath each one of the shades. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna go ahead and get into swatches. Um, now, of course, I was able to do swatches on my daughter. She is a medium skin tone um, and my husband as well. He is a little bit more of a darker skin tone. So you can guys get a different kind of variation when it comes to swatches. I am a light skin tone and I will be doing live swatches and we're just going to take it by rows when I do that. So I'm going to go ahead and insert those pictures right here right now <laughs> and let's get to the swatches. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 
What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia a Darling, I'm just so fed up With these expectations They keep weighing me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out all the colors are so pretty oh my goodness yes um, now if you notice I did show you guys my pinky um, it is stained pink um, with a little bit of blue on there from two different colors but we will get into that uh, now that you guys have seen the swatches I'm gonna go ahead and clean my arm so I don't get it all over the place and then I will get into my thoughts Okay, so let's go ahead over everything. So um, the Blue Blood palette is out of stock right now. It is supposed to come back and restock from my understanding. I think he said in this month, um, maybe towards the end. Now, once it goes back in stock, it is available at Morphe. It is available on Beautylish. It is available on Jeffree Star Cosmetics website. And I also believe Beauty Bay. This palette does run for $52. It is cruelty free and vegan. Um, now, if you are still looking to purchase this, I highly suggest trying getting it off of Beautylish and Morphe versus the Jeffree Star website. I had so much trouble on his website. I just, I wish he could get a better handle of not only the traffic on his website, but also the shipping times. Now, when I ordered the mystery box, I got that in a really decent time, um, and I was able to, able to get that up pretty quickly. A lot of other people, however, did not. It took them a really long time to get theirs, so I really didn't have any trouble with the, um, with the shipping time during that. Now, I did receive a broken item, and it took them almost a month to get me my replacement, which is absolutely ridiculous. It was a lot of back and forth. It was like, you know, email them, then maybe a week and a half later, they email me back asking for whatever, and then I email it to them, and then it was another week and a half, plus two weeks of shipping. It was just 
so hard to get my replacement and I don't I haven't dealt with that before a lot of the um, other companies are really good about their replacements um, especially when you email them a picture in the beginning email there's usually not an issue even though I did that they didn't accept it they wanted a new email with a new picture and it was just really hard work so I always like to give companies a really fair shot. Uh, so when I saw this palette was coming out, I was really drawn to it. I really wanted it. And I decided I was gonna order off of Jeffree Cosmetics website. Um, I knew this was gonna be available on Beautylish and on uh, Morphe, which are at sites I'm also able to access. But I really wanted to give his website a shot. Now, <laughs> It was so much trouble ordering on the website. It kept crashing on me. Um, I was trying to, I had the website up on my phone and I also had the website up on my computer, just kind of see which one would go through first. Um, and it was just so much trouble. I think I had a friend trying to help me. It was just a headache and it was a very, very long time. I know well over 30 minutes uh, of waiting in line for me to be able to check out. I kept getting kicked out and it was just, horrendous. Um, I don't know if the restock is going to be like that or not, but the launch definitely was and it was a headache. <laughs> so I think if I order anything from Jeffrey in the future, I will probably more than likely order off of either Beautylish or Morphe. I don't think I would visit his website again just because of how much of a headache it was. Now with that being said, this time around for the shipping, everything arrived absolutely beautifully. The the palettes were bubble wrapped, which I greatly appreciate um, considering my first time around, I had something broken. Nothing came broken. Everything is beautiful and it arrived in really good condition. Um, I do have, like I said, a video of the unboxing um, and I will have that right here for you guys. Now, as far as arrival time, there was an issue with that. Again, I know he had a break in. I just don't think that he has... Um, maybe it's the manpower behind him to get all these products out. Maybe he needs to up his manpower a little bit more. I'm not really sure what is going on, but it took me two and a half weeks to get my product. Two and a half weeks. That is such a long time. Um, especially, oh my gosh, I couldn't imagine if I had paid for two day shipping because how Jeffree Star does their shipping from what I understand, I could have this wrong. If I do, please let me know down below. Um, you still have your processing days and then once the processing days are finished, once it actually ships, then you have two days to receive your package. That is how it goes. It's not you purchase and you have it in two days. Um, there are some companies that do that. Jeffree Star Cosmetics, however, is not one of those companies. They still have their processing days and then once it's shipped, you get your two days, which I don't think is worth it in the end because you still have people who did not pay for two day shipping that get their package way before you do like way way before so it's really not worth it to invest that kind of money i know a lot of the beautylish customers receive their package almost immediately um so i will probably go through them so i highly recommend doing at least beautylish if you want your package fast. So with that being said, I love watching Jeffree Star. I think he is hilarious. His makeup is on is gorgeous. He is always just so intriguing when I watch him. So this is not about him. I just wanted to give you guys my honest opinion on shipping on everything else. And that will always be the case no matter who it is or what I'm reviewing. So I just want to make that clear. Um, now let's get into the palette. So I have been using all of these shades. I think there was only one I really did not get to use um, and that was Priceless, which is this shade right here on the end. Now on my eyes today, I do have um, Wealthy, which is this shade right here. I have I'm Cold, Flourishing, um, Cremated, and Entitled all on my eyes today. I really, really, really like the way that this look turned out. I think it is so beautiful. It is definitely wearable. 
it's nothing that is too crazy and over the top something I would definitely wear out and about um, now I did come up with a couple other looks I did take pictures of them for a couple different reasons this first look was when I let's get over so this first look was when I first started playing around with it it was kind of the same colors that I have on now the only difference was um, I was trying to do more so of a halo eye than it just turned into a cut crease uh, but I had put on chilling on type of on top of entitled um and like i said i was just playing around with the colors i wanted to see how they performed when i was blending so i wasn't really doing anything uh specific um and then i tried to do like a every natural day look uh so this is what i came up with this was with the shades with wealthy celebrity skin um power crystal flesh um now i really don't like how this turned out this is not exactly what i had in mind when i went to do this look i think it looks kind of eh um now i thought this was going to be a little bit more brown so i could create this everyday natural look but that really wasn't the case um it wasn't really the shade that i needed so i try to put a little bit of power in there which is it just kind of made it look a little bit too muddy which really didn't help the look too much for me. Now when it comes to now when it comes to crystal flesh, which is this shade right which is this shade right here. Um I think this shade is more of a satin versus a shimmer because I put like seven coats on and this is what I came up with. I really do not like this shade. Um it's very very hard to work with. You do have to build it up pretty much a lot it's very very chunky I don't know if you can tell um it's just I don't know it's just not really what I wanted it to be I wish the shade had been a solid shimmer and I think this would have been so much better um now if you go into the shade mint tea which is this shade right here um, I would say that this is the one I get the most kick up from in the pan. I really didn't have any issues with any other shades, um, but this one does give a, an excessive amount of kick up, almost to the point of like the subculture palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I tapped it one time and this is what it looked like. Um, which is not a big, a big deal for me because what I do, and I don't go in heavy handed, but what I do is I take the brush and all that little kick up, I try and tap that up very lightly so I can get use out of it. So I don't, I'm not blowing off a whole bunch of excess product. The shade is really beautiful. It performs really well. Um, but it, there is a lot of kick up in the pan. Now, oh, and by the way, I'm so sorry. I forgot to mention this. I do have this Colonan. Cullinan, I think that's the next shade. This really white icy shade, I do have that on my inner corner and on my brow bone as well. Now for this next look that you see that I did, I used the shades Blue Blood, Wealthy, Blue Monday, uh, Undertaker, and Ocean Ice. This look turned out really, really pretty. Once again, this is really quick. Um, I wasn't sitting there and actually trying to blend everything and it still looks pretty blended um, for just kind of like putting it on very quickly now the shade ocean ice let's talk about this for a minute the shade ocean ice which is this one right here it is absolutely stunning it is so gorgeous I'm so in love with it but um the only two small downsides to this shade is number one there is a lot of fallout um with this shade as you can see right here I did take two different pictures um of what this shade did to my face it is crazy so if you are going to use this shade I highly recommend doing your face afterwards do not do your foundation <laughs> do not do your foundation if you're going to use this shade it's going to be impossible now the other downside to it is it does stain the lid um, as you can see it stained my pinky pink um, and it stained my eyelid pink now thinking that it's a blue shade I'm like it stains it pink I don't know why but it does now I have a before picture right here this is my eyelid before I have applied any kind of makeup um, and this is the picture afterwards it's not excessive 
but I did not leave this eye look on for very long. It was maybe on for five minutes because once I completed it, I wiped it all off to move on to the next eye look to create more looks. I don't know if it would have stained even more had I left it on for a longer amount of time, um, but it, that that definitely might be the case. You will just have to be the judge of that on how long you use it, where you use it, whatever the case. Um, but I still think it's gorgeous. Is it going to stop me from putting it on my lid? Absolutely not. The shade is too pretty not to be all, all over my lid. So um, my goal is actually to give you guys a tutorial of this look. I really, really like it. It's so pretty. So hopefully that will be in the future. Now this next look I did, it was just very, very simple. I kind of wanted to do like three small shades together and see how it worked out. Um, so in this picture, you will see Wealthy, which is what I have been using to uh, prime my eyes. And I think this shade is absolutely perfect for that. So once you have your primer on, whatever, this is an awesome go-to shade to set that absolutely stunning um so in this look i do have i'm cold which is this shade right here and i have ice tray which actually pairs very very well together ice tray is so beautiful oh my gosh i'm just like so in love with it i have some definite favorites out of this palette so it would definitely be this white shade um this blue shade the i'm cold shade you know what I take that back they're just like all my favorites all my favorites except for this one right here i'm not really a big fan of that everything else in the pans i love so much these two shades right here i do have to say um cremated and undertaker i think these shades are amazing i love the fact that he put kind of like a bluish green uh dark color in here and then more like a dark blue it definitely helps with the looks that i create uh whether i want to do like a blue look or more like this more like a a greenish look um so i do like the two variations to darken up the outer corners i really really appreciate that but bottom line i really have to say that i am in love with this palette. I think it was a very good purchase. I think the shadows in here are very good. They blend very nicely. I am so excited for the looks that I can create with this and I will definitely be buying more palettes in the future from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um, I'm really, really happy with this purchase. And in saying so, uh, you guys, as you know, if you watched my live unboxing, I did buy two of these. So that means it is a giveaway time. Now, I am so thankful for all you guys that watch me and comment and give me likes and show me love and follow me on Instagram. I can't keep going because I'm gonna start crying, but you guys mean the world to me and I love you so, so much. So I really wanted to give back. So that is when I went ahead and I bought an extra palette. This is just a way of me saying thank you so much for supporting me. Um, now I will have all the rules, of course, listed down below. So for this giveaway, it starts today. Um, now. I want to give people plenty of chance to be able to enter this. You do have to be subscribed to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below letting me know if this is going to be your very first Jeffree Star palette or if you've already purchased a Jeffree Star palette, which one was your very first. I cannot wait to hear all these answers. You must be at least 18 years of age and this giveaway is open internationally because I want my supporters, no matter where they are in this world, to be able to receive this palette if they are the winners. So um, with that being said, how you can enter, follow the link down below uh, through Gleam. This will make sure that everybody is following the rules. I will also do a bonus entry on Instagram, so make sure you guys are following me there as well. So good luck to all you guys. I cannot wait to see who the winner is, and I'm really, really excited to be able to give back to you guys. And let me know also if you guys want me to do a tutorial on this makeup look, because I am really digging it. <laughs> All right, so that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give me a big ol' thumbs up if you like this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!